lost continent hidden deep beneath Antarctica's ice discovered from space. Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Insights. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news, archaeology and other interesting research around the world. Scientists have discovered a remnant of ancient lost continent hidden deep beneath Antarctica's ice. Using the European Space Agency's gravity mapping satellites, researchers were able to peer beneath the ice to map out the two below. The findings, published in scientific report, revealed a long-lost landscape littered with cretons large, stable blocks of the Earth's crust that are remnants of ancient continents. They are part of the lithosphere, which consists of the crust and upper mantle, and are generally found in the center of modern continental plates. Studying these features allow researchers to understand the history of the Earth and its future. The ESA's gravity field and steady state ocean circulation explorer satellite was launched in 2009 to measure the pool of Earth's gravity. However, during its last year of operation, it was flown at an altitude of just 158 miles meaning it could take extremely accurate measurements of localized gravity gradients. Using this data, the team was able to build up a patchwork 3D image of the lithosphere beneath Antarctica, including the cretons. According to Josh Ebbing, a researcher from Kiel University in Germany, cretons are the ancient part of the lithosphere and form the oldest cores of the continent. Understanding their structure and longevity hold key answers to unveiling Earth's early history and how the solid Earth affects Earth evolution, linking ultimately to climate and the future of the Earth. Antarctica is in many respects still a blank spot, and despite new seismological results, we did not expect to see that the ancient part of East Antarctica is so heterogeneous. With seismological research, it is easy to observe the difference between East and West Antarctica. The data seem to suggest that East Antarctica is not one craton, but an amalgamation of cretonic parts. This observation leads back to the breakup of the supercontinent Gondwana and the link of Antarctica to the surrounding continents. Because Antarctica is covered in ice, taking direct samples of rocks is not possible. Instead, scientists have to work out how it might have moved over Earth history by looking at its former neighboring continent, Australia and South America, for example. The latest findings indicate West Antarctica has a thinner crust and lithosphere than East Antarctica, which seem to be made up of old cretons and look a bit like Australia and India. Speaking with Newsweek, co author Fausto Ferracioli of the British Antarctic Survey, the new images show the fundamental difference in the lithosphere beneath East and West Antarctica, which is in agreement with previous seismic findings. We also found a greater degree of complexity in the interior of East Antarctica than is apparent from current seismic views, suggesting that this part of the continent is a mosaic of old cretons and Oregons. Some of these regions have clear ties to formerly adjacent continents in the supercontinent Gondwana, such as Australia, India, and Africa. Scientists believe they can use these findings to study the tectonic processes that affected Antarctica. It is expected that this is going to help in understanding the links between Antarctica and the rest of the continents better and also improve the knowledge of the influence of the lithosphere on the overlying ice sheet from a different gravity-derived perspective. The latest findings are part of a bigger initiative to model Earth and gain a better understanding of the plate tectonic shaped our planet. By gathering data on Antarctica's lithosphere, researchers will be able to understand the structure of the frozen area, allowing them to better comprehend how it might respond to climate change in the coming centuries. Ferracioli said, also linked to this, 
We will be producing new 3D models for Antarctica, including the development of new thermal models that are important to better constrain the heat delivered from the solid earth to the base of the Antarctic ice sheet. What is your take on this? Kindly drop your thought in comments. And if you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about our ancient past or ancient history and the latest archaeological finds, kindly click on the end screen displayed for more videos. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.